are the instructions for assembling the main horizontal structure of the, the gantry. You'll see that there's um, pieces to hold the rail. There's also a middle section here for structure, another, middle, uh, another section on the back, and then you will have these two um, curved um, rigid pieces here to keep, from, keep the uh, mechanism from flexing and also to keep it perfectly straight. The pieces that we'll have to use are, this is, these are the main rail pieces. You can see that there is a bit of flexibility here so you can have the gantry side with a little bit of wiggle room. The um, same thing here, these, these go right, be, these pieces and then that one over there go right behind the rail pieces. Then you have the longer um, back piece to keep it all stable and then you have these two pieces that will keep the structure straight and keeping it from flexing. Because these, there's so much thickness here, it's going to require three inch screws. So just insert the three inch screws, it's best to do this in the beginning. And these holes will be pretty tight, sometimes they'll be pretty tight, sometimes they'll be this, depending on the end belt that's used. So let's get started. So the best way that I know to do this is to lay this down flat um, and you'll have this piece ready to receive the screws. You can put these screws in just a little bit so it, it, goes, into the, it goes into this piece 
up to that to up to the hole, and then it'll um, do that to all of the screws, and you'll have a pretty pretty good connection, so you can start putting the cross dowels in. Just like in the 2x4 video, you'll be attaching this piece onto the gantry side. It'll rest right here and it'll, atta it'll attach with four cross dowels on this side and the same thing here. Four cross dowels and the screws are Actually, on yours, they'll be they'll be countersunk, so they won't be interfering with this area right here. This doesn't interfere, but I think I'm just lucky.